Freedom means the supremacy of human rights everywhere. Our support goes to those who struggle to gain those rights and keep them. I'm really impressed with what the students did with the topic human rights and photography. You can really see um, solidarity, resistance, protest. The images that came from Iran, we wouldn't have seen it if it weren't for photography or film. My name is Jana, I'm 21 years old and I study at the KMBK here in The Hague. I made it at a time when uh, Masha Amini was just murdered by the morality police and of course all the women in Iran yeah, kind of raised up all together and wanted to make a difference and I thought well that's amazing that we all from every background all feel that solidarity as women like women are coming off their hair but it's like a, a single act of what happens if you document it to make it more like permanent. My name is Lisa van der Berg and I'm a first year photography student here at the Royal Academy in Hague. Um, so for this work I photographed my roommate. Um, she is half Iranian, half German, so it came very close to her, to her family that lived there and to her friends that lived there. Uh, these are actually all the things that we have a right to really to show like the, um, to see that it's not obvious um, that that everyone has those. My name is Papa de Jong, 18 years old, um, from Leiden, and first year student at the Academy of Art for Photography. I chose to focus on hostile architecture in the city, so I went around uh, The Hague and Amsterdam mostly. And I decided to focus on that because when I think of human rights being violated, I really think of it as denying people basic rights, basic things they, they, they need. And I think the, the fact that hostile architecture is designed to kind of reject people who already don't have much, don't have anything, uh, and kind of even denying them the comfort of a, of a bench to lay on in the city is, is kind of the most dehumanizing thing. Like I've had a few people react to it like, oh really, like I didn't, I didn't know that that was kind of the purpose of this design. Like I never looked at it like that. As I report to you, air attacks are underway against military targets in Iraq. Regrettably, we now believe that only force will make him leave. My name's uh, Jamie Smith. I study photography at the Cabaret Car, um, and this is my series on human rights. The Dutch government are moving migrants from uh, overcrowded camps like to Apple and they are moving them to Amsterdam to these temporary cruise ships that arrived on the same day that the first rivals came. So uh, I took their photo, interviewed them and talked to them about the situation. I mean, you can use photography as a, as a tool to expose or to document or to show what's going on, but ultimately I discovered that it was more about the connections I had with the people, the conversations that I had and the things that I found out um, that was more important. Uh, than the photos themselves. And it really showcases uh, the collaboration between the Osser Institute and the Royal Arts Academy um, to see how photography can uh, help promote or question uh, human rights. <laughs>